Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see what are droplets and droplet nuclei. Let's see what are droplets. Humans produce respiratory aerosols during coughing, sneezing, talking, etc. We know aerosols are fine sprays producing droplets that remain suspended in air for a time. Many microbial pathogens have an airborne mode of transmission and cause infections of the respiratory tract. The causative microorganisms occur in secretions from the nose and throat of infected individuals and can be transmitted directly to healthy individuals by aerosols generated by coughs, sneezes or even talking. The size of these droplets ranges from less than 1 to 15 micrometer. For example, sneezing may produce as many as 40,000 droplets between 0.5 and 12 micrometer in diameter that may be expelled at speeds up to 100 meter per second. We should note one important point here that is, the size of bacteria containing droplets plays an important role in transmission of disease. That is, depending on their sizes, they travel or remain suspended in air or fall to the ground and in the process get evaporated. Larger droplets tend to settle out after traveling a few feet. If inhaled, most become trapped in the nasal buffer and nasopharynx. Smaller droplets tend to evaporate rapidly. The smaller the size, the faster the evaporation. Up to this, we learned what are droplets. Next, we are going to see what are droplet nuclei. On evaporation, droplets get converted to very minute particles called droplet nuclei. Or we can say, Droplet nuclei are the dried out residual of droplets containing infectious pathogens. Droplet nuclei are airborne particles containing viable microbes. And the term droplet nuclei refers to droplets that are less than or equal to 5 micrometer in diameter. Droplet nuclei can remain suspended in air for hours or days, travel long distances and serve as a continuing source of infection if the microbe remain viable when dry. Viability is determined by various factors like the atmospheric conditions, the size of the particles bearing the organisms, etc. Various experiments shows that the proportion of droplet nuclei reaching the lung depend on their sizes. All particles over 5 micrometer are retained in the nose. Most of 1 micrometer reach the lung and are retained in the alveoli. And we should remember one more point here that is the infections caused by droplet and droplet nuclei may lead to the outbreak of an epidemic. Epidemic is an outbreak that affects many people at one time in a particular geographic region.
in my next video thank you friends